Now, you conceived of the idea in either 2000 or 2001, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. And um, at that time, how many times had you personally been to China, if any? Uh, never. At that time that you conceived of the idea, how extensive a knowledge did you personally have of the Chinese culture, if any? Well, how is, what's extensive mean? I don't understand. Well, you tell us, um, did you have any special uh, expertise in the Chinese culture at that point in time? No, I didn't have a degree in Chinese culture. Did you have a special interest in China or the Chinese culture? Um, no. How about martial arts? Um, yes. Okay, tell us about that. As of uh, 2000 or 2001, when you conceived of the idea for Kung Fu mm -hmm. Panda, tell us about your interest in martial arts. Well, I took karate when I was a kid. Okay. Other than that... Well, I wasn't very good at it, but I took karate. And is that the extent of... Yes. Okay. All right, so is it fair to say you didn't really have any special knowledge or particular interest in martial arts as of the year 2000, 2001? Objection, argumentative, mistakes, testimony. I'm asking. Well, at DreamWorks, I was interested in a lot of places around the world that could be possible settings for animated films. And within those settings, the geography, the culture, the animals, the genres of films that were, uh, you know, particularly known for in that culture. Um, but that applied to China as well as many other places around the world. Europe? Europe, yes. Africa? Yes. It's just one of many. Yes. Um, was there any significance to you personally to the number five at or around the time that you conceived of the idea for Kung Fu Panda? No. Uh, and